Welcome back to the Aussie Shed, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we start taking some bits and pieces off the VG30 out of the Z32. What I'd like to start with is removing the lower intake manifold and do a lot of cleanup work on it. Just port the lower manifold, which is basically just cleaning up any casting marks, evening up all the surfaces and getting it looking real nice inside. Give it a good scrub up, bit of a clean, bit of a deep burr. Externally remove a lot of the casting flash on it and then we'll move on to the MSP exhaust manifolds. They need a good going over with a flat wheel and a few bits and pieces. There's some casting dags and stuff that need to be removed off those. Uh, they also need a really good going over to see if there's any cracks starting to form anywhere or anything like that. So let's get into it. Just clean up these ports. There's uh, not only just the general roughness of the casting, but there's like a seam in the in the mold that these were poured into on the sides. That's uh, quite significant. That needs to be removed. That's in every port. So um, I'm just paying a little bit of extra attention to those. You get them all smooth and all nice and cleaned up. Alright, well that's the lower inlet manifold, ported, looking pretty good, you've got to remember guys, it's all just clean up work, there's no, um, you know, nothing, nothing fancy like trying to enlarge any of the ports or anything like that, it's all about just cleaning up flaws in the casting, uh, getting rid of casting flash, evening everything up as best as you can, and really just trying to blend all the shapes together and not bugger anything up at all so i'm i'm pretty happy with that now so you can see i've had various tools at it here all been working away it does take some time but uh now i have my lower manifold ported i've also gotten rid of a lot of the casting flash uh, in all the areas around it and i'm pretty happy with it now so we'll give that a clean Probably run it through the dishwasher one more time and uh, that should be ready to go onto the engine. Other than, I've got to get this out and put an ARP um, stud in there. Got to remember to do that. Alright, pretty happy with that. Okay, let's clean up these MSP manifolds.
There we go guys, these turned out pretty reasonable. Um, you know, all that daggy, rusty cast iron on the outside, all gone. We've just got a nice finish. Cleaned up the MSP lettering a fair bit on them. Um, overall, pretty happy with that. It just allows me to go over them in very fine detail and make sure there's no cracks forming anywhere. And if there were, look at uh, repairing those. But fortunately, they are 100% very, very nice. All right, so I'll get these mounted on the mill now. And we'll, uh, we'll reface this flange mounting surface. All righty. Alrighty, well that's a bit of a start. The mill does a nice job on this sort of stuff, hey? Certainly won't be any issues with any of that leaking. These turned out really well, cleaning these up. I'm very happy with these. They, they just seem to be a very well-built well uh, manifold. The metallurgy seems really top-notch on them as well, which is really, really good to see. These should come up really well with a bit of ceramic coating. They um, sandblast them first, which uh, helps the, uh, the ceramic coating bond to it. So a lot of these inconsistencies that you can sort of see in there because of different directions of, I've run with flat wheels and different things, that'll all just kind of disappear. And uh, once they blast it, it'll have sort of a more even finish and then they'll hit it with the uh, sort of ceramic coating. So what I've done with these is I've evened out uh, a lot of areas I've cleaned up you know all these kind of uh, recesses and you know all, all these kind of areas where there was any sort of sharp edges or or bits of casting flash that could possibly lead to cracks and and stuff like that they're they're actually really really good they're very thick they seem to be a very well made piece anyhow very happy with how they turned out lower inlet manifold uh, it's all just big clean up work just getting rid of all of the uh, the casting flash and uh, casting irregularities uh, in this I haven't opened any of the ports up or anything like that I haven't done any uh, gasket matching or anything like that I will probably do that later at some point uh, at the moment I'm just trying to give myself a bit of a head start on things so that uh, when the time comes, I'm not snowed under with heaps of manual labour that needs to go into stuff. So it's a good start anyway. So, where to next? So while I've got it on the stand, I think I might attack some of this water gallery casting flash in the very front area, um, just around the water pump mounting place in through this first section of the gallery. There's some really horrible stuff that shouldn't be too hard to clean up initially. Uh, it's pretty dirty, grubby, horrible stuff to do. So I wanna try and get as much of this done while I can, um, while the engine's kind of still in one piece and got a bit of cover. Having it on the stand means it's in a pretty easy position to work with. So that's another sort of a positive to it. You can see I'm using a um, different camera now. I'm using my phone with the flash turned on to get a bit of a, a bit better look in there. And you can see that it is almost completely blocked, um, particularly right down the other end, which is where the problem usually is with them. There's only a very small opening through the last bit of casting flash, which obviously will have to be removed. So at this stage, I'm just gonna work in this front area and see how much I can sort of quickly clean up before getting the heads off 
and getting all the Welsh plugs out and all that kind of stuff. And realistically, I probably need to strip everything out of the block so it's nice and light and I can get it up on the bench and flip it around to be able to properly get to everything. All right, I'll get some tools, I'll get a die grinder out and I will get stuck into this. Well, that's a bit of a start, guys. That's uh, probably all I can do while it's on the stand and sort of in this position. You can see I've started in here, just cleaning out all these really sharp corners and all the cleaning up the casting a lot in there. There was quite a bit of casting flash in there as well, but you can see what I've been doing in this main area that feeds off uh, off where the water pump mounts here you'll remember this was just chockers with very sharp sort of casting flash and it was kind of all over the place so you can see i'm in a little ways but not that far i'm kind of up to that probably the first freeze pl freeze plug that comes down through the valley but you can see I've got a lot further to go. A lot further to go. Can't see crap through there yet. But uh, for now, just while I had it on the stand here, I thought I'd just start getting stuck into it and uh, start cleaning it up. You can see that's sort of what it looks like when you, when you get it all clean. All right, so I might cut this video off here, guys. Um, that's a start anyway. We've got a lot of the dirty, filthy, grueling work done or started. And uh, next week, I think I might uh, actually start pulling all the covers off, pulling the cams out and starting to get the heads off and all that sort of stuff. And the reason being I, I didn't really get stuck in that straight away was for a start space, you know, there's not a lot of space here in the shed. And again, being some dirty filthy horrible jobs that we've just done i want to keep all the components from the engine as clean as possible sort of minimize the amount of grubby crap that i'm doing while the engine's apart everything will be caught, sort of kept pretty safe and pretty clean but you know obviously if i can minimize the really dirty stuff that i'm doing uh, by knocking out a little bit of bit of it beforehand well all well and good all right guys we'll leave this one here Thanks for stopping by the Aussie Shed. Always a bloody pleasure to have you here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Remember to leave a comment. And as always, I'll bloody well see you on the next one. Cheers.